All right, Mr. Marandi, President Rouhani has said that it's not supposed to, Iran is not, uh, should not be taking all the steps or following these commitments to the JCPOA. Everyone else has to follow their promises also. But here we've seen that these sanctions by the U.S., the latest one on the inner circle of the Supreme Leader Khamenei, uh, has taken its toll altogether on the Iranian economy. So it really, it is, it is really left to question that how long can Iran keep going on like this? Well, the United States has sanctioned the whole country. No individual in particular mm -hmm. is being targeted by preventing all Iranians from using the international banking system. The United States is basically trying to prevent Iran from importing and exporting and importing medicine as well as food. Again, this is a violation of international law and humanitarian law. The United States and the Europeans <coughs> will not allow Iran to import one euro, one dollar, any amount of money worth of medicine through the banking system. Mm -hmm. And this has killed people. So not only are the Europeans abiding by this barbaric behavior of the United States, but their demands that Iran abide by its commitments, where, whereas they're in full violation, is really insulting to ordinary Iranians Mm -hmm. every time they make the, these statements. And we have to remember that Iran has been extraordinarily flexible, regardless of the fact that the Iranians gave significant concessions to reach the nuclear agreement. But even after the U.S. left the deal and began bullying other countries, such as the Europeans, into violating the deal, the Iranians waited not six months, but a whole year before they initiated the process of gradually cutting down on their commitments. Even right. now, the Iranians are still abiding by many of their commitments in the deal. They've only withdrew from some of their commitments to put pressure on the Europeans.